Hey guys, so this is going to be the first time I'm ever trying Chick-fil-A because my mother actually brought it home from her job. Apparently they all bought Chick-fil-A, which is very nice. So she brought me a cookie and waffle potato chips. So let's try them out. I'm about to put the cookie inside of the microwave so it could warm and soften up. So let's see how it tastes like. So I'm about to pull it out of the bag now that it's all warm. Oh, it's crumbling. <laughs> let's try a piece. Oh, that tastes so good. Wait. I never had Chick-fil-A, but I was like hearing it from a bunch of people, you know. Oh, this is so good. Chick-fil-A is super uncommon in Connecticut. I barely see them anywhere. Now that I think about it, I've never seen a Chick-fil-A in real life. But Chick-fil-A isn't expensive, right? It's actually Chipotle, right? I get both Chick-fil-A and Chipotle mixed up because they both have a C and I barely eaten at Chipotle. Only once and it was very expensive. This is so good, oh my god. This cookie is banging, literally banging. That was literally just one singular cookie and it was so good. The texture and the gooiness was amazing after it was reheated. Not only that, but it's very filling. I'm actually like full from that. Now I'm gonna be trying the waffle potato chips. I'm personally hoping that they actually have lots of flavor. They're a little bit too hard for my liking. They're definitely flavorful. It took a little bit for the flavor to kick in, but now it's like blowing up in my mouth. The potato chips are a little bit lesser than the cookies, but I still like them. Overall, my experience of Chick-fil-A snacks, I'll give it a good 8.5 out of 10. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more little videos like these. Tell me what other foods I should try from Chick-fil-A or Chipotle. <laughs> Stuff like that, because I've never eaten them. So I hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>